The Quantum Bigfoot is a very unique and cool hard drive from the mid to late 90s. Whereas most hard drives came in the 3.5 inch form factor, the Bigfoot drives are 5.25 inch drives. The idea was to offer larger capacities at a lower price because with the larger platters they could use fewer of them and also less read-write heads. I got quite a few comments in previous hard drive reviews to check out the Bigfoot drive, so I asked Electromine if they could send us a review sample and they were kind enough to do so. Electromine, they stock a massive range of vintage hard drives, so if you're looking for storage, check out their website and don't forget to use our 20% discount code. More details down below in the description. Four distinct Bigfoot drives were produced over time with differences in capacity, rotation speed, access time and interface speed. The first model was just called Bigfoot, followed by the CY, TX and finally TS series. The drive we are testing today is from the Bigfoot TX series with a capacity of 4GB. The Bigfoot TX introduced a faster rotation speed, the platters are now spinning at 4000 RPM. The interface also got a slight upgrade to the newer UDMA2 or ATA33 standard. The Bigfoot TX comes in sizes of 4, 6, 8 and 12 gigabytes. Quantum as a brand doesn't seem to exist anymore, in 2001 it was sold to Maxter and in 2005 Maxter was acquired by Seagate. So when you're looking at documents, Online for quantum drives, you might get it from a Seagate server and then find logos from Maxter when you open them. There are a set of jumpers in between the ID and Molex connector. You can configure the usual settings for master, slave or cable select. I found an interesting white paper. In response to market demands for high capacity economical hard drive storage, storage manufacturers are beginning to return to the 5.25 inch form factor. The Quantum Bigfoot family of 5.25 inch products are the first in what is expected to be a popular choice for consumer PCs. Well, it didn't quite end up going Quantum's way, 3.5 inch hard drives became the popular choice for consumer PCs. Let's take a look at the performance. In Crystal Disk Mark and ATTO Disk Benchmark, we measure a transfer rate of 10 megabytes per second for reading and writing. This is quite a bit lower than what the UDMA2 interface could provide. Let's take a look at access time. In HD Tech as well as in Roadkill's disk speed, we are measuring an access time of around 20 milliseconds. But how does it sound? Here we have some audio recordings of the Quantum Bigfoot TX spinning up, seeking, copying some files and turning off. For drive diagnostics I downloaded Maxter's PowerMax software. Just run it and it will create a bootable floppy disk. You can run short and extended diagnostics as well as stress tests and low level formatting. So to summarize it, the Quantum Bigfoot TX is a very unique and cool hard drive. The 4 gigabytes of capacity, transfer rate of 10 megabytes per second and 20 millisecond access time make this drive most suitable for a pure DOS machine. Using MS-DOS 6.22 for example in machines with a 286 or 386 processor. I don't recall seeing any DOS retro gaming PCs with such a hard drive so if you're looking for something unique that is a bit different then this hard drive might well be worth checking out. And that's it for this video guys. Big thank you to Electromine for sending us this hard drive for testing. Check out the description for more information and the 20% discount code and also a playlist to all the other hard drives I've tested so far. As always, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, like or dislike, share the video with your friends and leave me a comment down below. What are your thoughts on the Quantum Bigfoot drive? That's it guys, thanks for watching and I shall see you soon with another video.